managed to bag two goals. Well done. Was it the, uh, the hurricane hurricane boots? You are my my fire. I'm gonna whip out the voice a bit, obviously. <laughs> Right, Theo, we've arrived in Ibar. Right, guys, we just got back from having lunch up in the hills. That was absolutely amazing. But, however, we're now on our way to the uh, museums. I think it's an arms museum. Arms in terms of guns. So, I think it's shut soon. Me and Pollock are on our way. I think a few of the lads have gone forward because it does, in fact, shut soon. Uh, but we'll be there in a second. I don't know if about you guys at home play it, but I've been playing a lot of uh, Call of Duty um, World War II lately. Uh, so I'll be interested to see what guns they've got there. And I reckon I'll be able to make a few references as to what they are. Do you play a lot of COD? Yeah, I've been playing the new, uh, the new one. World War II, yeah. So you might see a couple of them out you recognise. So I reckon me and Sky P will be in them like, yeah. That's the, uh, that's the MP40, mate. That's, uh, have they got a ray gun, though? Have they yeah, have they got a ray gun? Have they got a random no. box? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. We'll have to see. I've spotted a rare Sebi no goals. Rare? <laughs> Not that rare. <laughs> My opinion these vlogs that little. <laughs> You're never in them, mate. So talk to me a little bit about the museum that we're going to. It's an arms museum, right? Well, so apparently this is the region, the mountain range that we're in, sort of this region of Spain, northern Spain. There's a lot of raw materials here, a lot of raw metals that were used. And it was one of the largest producers of guns Wow. in all of Spain. So for many, many years. So that's what we're going to go and see a bit of heritage. Actually, the team we're watching tonight are known, I believe, as the Armours, the Armoury. So it's almost like the Spanish Gunners. Okay. If you like. We've got a few Arsenal fans here, so... What's going on there? What's... That was very random to come across. I said he, he promised us that the walk was on flat ground. I said I refused to walk this because he told me it was flat ground. Lift me up. Just pull yourself up. And then we had a chat about whether he could actually lift me. It turns out he can, but it was more painful for me than him. Who's the oldest? <gasps> Winner. Winner. Chicken is probably going to be for dinner again. <laughs> These guns are so long compared to Scotty P. Look at it. Massive. Right, me, Scotty and Marcus have gone ahead of the group because we're the guys that are playing World War II, uh, Call of Duty and that sort of game. So we, like I've referenced before we came in and we've just found all the guns that are included in that. Look at these. I'm pretty sure we could reference half of these. That's a little bit like the PPSH, yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah. I think, maybe. That's why, that's why. Yeah. Oh no, that's the PPSH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the PPSH. PPSH. That's the, that's the, that's the MP40. That's the PPSH, MP40. Little, little extended yeah. that's yeah. me rushing around the map. Is that you? Yeah. STG, yeah. STG, right there. Type 100. Because it's not the, the thing yeah. on the side. Yeah. And look at some of these guns here. I think this is a little, a little bit more modern here. We're going to a more so like modern warfare stage now. AK-47, I believe. M4 carbine or the M16. This is mental. Springfield. I think that's the M1 Garand. Scotty P and Marcus with the knowledge. Hey, but what is that? Look, come ahead, look, look at this one. What kind of extension is that? I think that's the, is that the machine pistol that you get given if you yeah. rank up pretty quick? I yeah, think but that look at be. the extension. I know. Where does that come from? Well, that was interesting. I really enjoyed that, uh, that, that tour of the arms museum and the history behind Ibar. It definitely held a lot of information. Big shout out to them guys for putting that on for us. But now we're all going back to the hotel. Uh, I think we're going to go grab some more jackets because it's suddenly got a little bit more chilly. And then we're going back to uh, the stadium in which where we were and where we got the tour earlier. And we're going to go watch Real Betis face Ibar. Have 
Have you got any uh, predictions for tonight? Have you done any res research into the teams? Or? From what I know, I think Ivar and his boys. That's what I've heard. So I'm going to go with one off. Not bad. Okay, I see what you've done there. I went for 2 1 Ibar purely because they treated us so well, but I know what you mean. You go for a draw, meet halfway. Yep. I said that earlier, we're going to bring the good luck today. That's why I said, good boy. 2 0. Okay. TB. Score prediction for tonight. Absolutely no idea, but I reckon one team is going to score, and so is the other team. One off. That's what Mastin went with. I've gone with 2 1 Ivar. I think hashtag United are going to bring the good luck tonight. We'll see. We've got the hashtag Ultras out in full force. There we go. Man's dog. Predictions ahead of tonight's game. Just been given our tickets. Gate 2, row 9, seat 5. Let's go. is a bloody hero, helping out people to find out where their tickets are. Legend. Well guys, the game has kicked off and the atmosphere is electric. Mate, the tech around here, the movement on the ball. Well, that's I, think the, uh, I think the football here is so different, but the atmosphere is electric, but the football that they're playing, you can definitely tell they're, uh, they're Spanish. Come on! Come on, you ain't what? Come on, boys! Stop that! To Bar. Right, so I think we're about halfway through the first half, and me and Fred Mastin are going to go check out the uh, what we like to call the ultras that have got their drums out and uh, are just singing constantly throughout the whole game. So it'd be quite interesting to go and experience that sort of atmosphere. I mean, I hope they're not going to mind being filmed. What do you reckon? I think they'll be alright. I think they'll appreciate the support. Intense. How was it down this end, Najee? Epic, man. The whole place is bouncing, man. I'm loving this. Come on, you Pure guys. atmosphere. I love it. I love it. Right, guys. It's just gone half time, and the score is 2 0 to Ivar. I told you, Hashtag United are going to bring the good luck, and we brought it so far. Don't want to speak too soon. But yeah, 2 0. Great game. Great atmosphere. But obviously, a big shout out to um, La Liga and SD Ivar and letting us come and watch uh, such a great game. What do you make of the first half, sir? That's the electric. Ivar. Uh, brought a raise in the game, we're, we're their lucky charm basically, it's great. That is very weird you should say, I spoke to a guy downstairs and he was like, hashtag, you are our lucky charm. We are. Yeah, if I don't get to hashtag it, they can only, they only do good things. The fans have been gracious and they deserve to see a win. I'm happy to be part of it, so yeah, loving the league of life. Hey JW mate, what do you right. make the first half? Hey, it's good, good game. Good game. Two competitive teams. Five bar, two nil. How many chances they had? Three, scored two. Spence will get back into this. They'll score second half. Game on. Oh, it's heating up in the stadium. They have now just been awarded a penalty and one of their centre backs has been sent off. Mr. Mandy! Mr. Mandy's been sent off. Yes, guys, you can guess it. It's 4 0 now. Unbelievable goal, I have to say. Atmosphere's electric, as you can hear. Well, well done, SCI bar. The game 
in fact finished 5 0 to uh, FC Ibar. Incredible performance. I was really impressed by today. Uh, seeing goes to quite low in the league. This is a big result for them. I think now we're actually going to go down onto the pitch. Let's go. Sunday. See you, mate. DB. What is that you've got round your neck? This is the cheeky little media lanyard. Lan lanyard. It's going to give us access to the pitch. And it's even got hashtag good night on it. Wow. Actually, in the sort of half hashtag colours. Yes. How do you make of the game, DB? Right, amazing. I think it's their best ever win in La Liga. Probably can't understand me because I've lost my voice. But <laughs> yeah, I think 5 0 is their best ever win. It was 5 1 before that, but tonight, smashed all records. 5 0 to the mighty A bar. We just witnessed history being made here. We saw a new top goal scorer of the top flight for Ibar, uh, which is Enrich, I think his name is, Enrich. Uh, and also, we saw their biggest margin of victory ever in the top flight, 5 0. So, the hashtag effect is alive and well. Right guys, this is where I'm going to finish this part of the vlog. Uh, we'll see you again in the morning. But uh, yeah, what an absolutely incredible evening here at uh, SD Ibar's stadium where they went 5-0 uh, against Real Betis. Huge stuff, but we're here on the pitch now. Look at this. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. Big shout out to uh, SD uh, Ibar and La Liga for giving us this opportunity. Top stuff from you guys. Thank you very much for that. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Look at that. Beautiful. Good morning, Wagwan. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is. What's going on? Today is our last day and it is game day. The second game here on the Hashtag United La Liga Tour and we're going up against SD Ibar's staff team. And now I'm in the lobby on my own as the uh, Sumbi Dundi and the rest of the camera crew have now gone to the training ground. I just want to take this moment just to say a big thank you to you guys for making this all happen because if it wasn't for you guys watching this and sort of enjoying our content and getting involved, um, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we're doing now. But I can't actually put into words how much it means uh, for you guys to support what we do because you allow us to live the dream. And obviously vlogging is one of the main purposes for you guys to come on the journey with us. But also, when I edit it, I get to relive that journey as well. And for me to be able to put in a lot of effort into the edits and sort of show people how incredible our trips are, it, um, and it means a lot. So yeah, thank you guys a lot. Guys, we're playing SD Ibar's staff team, but yet we're taking their first team coach to the game. Stampy, we're getting back on the bloody first team's coach to go and play their staff team. Excited. I'm actually, I think I'm starting, so uh, I've got big shoes to fill, big, big shoes. Obviously, Jamel is a size 13, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, hopefully it all goes well and uh, make my point, prove my point. Him as well. Him as well, both of you, all of you, especially this guy. This guy has been an absolute joke the whole trip. He's been late, he's been wearing all sorts of different garments. He's lying! He's I'm liar. not lying, I've got it on this camera. No, no. it's all false. Mr. Morley. Didn't see that much of you yesterday, but uh, we've got you back now. How are you feeling ahead of today's game? Good. Good, yeah. Scotty Pete. You ready for the game today? Yeah, hopefully I'll be playing in this one. Good to get um, I had the rest over the last day, and yeah. so hopefully it should be better. Taking some decent Instagram stories to uh, sort of... I never use Instagram as much. <laughs> Like, I was producing madness for the cameras. But. Okay. but obviously ahead of the game today, you missed the last game. Uh, you had a bit of a, a bit of a twinge, yeah. but you're back to full fitness. Hopefully, uh, be able to get on the pitch and uh, do some damage. Right, so we have a Spain group chat here for everyone on the hashtag uh, La Liga tour. And Sundi Dundi has just put a photo onto the chat of what the backdrop is like at the stadium. And I have to say, wow, I'm excited to get there. I have no words. We've just arrived here at the training ground and I think everyone's got their cameras out because uh, this is mad. Does anyone want a banana? I've got four spare. One, please. Vio. One for Dan, bro. Oh, thanks, Vio. You tell him no, no scary stories, I've yeah. oh, One for... Oh, you got... You. Can I, can I swap? Who else wants a banana? <laughs> 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 
gassed. Oh, views on views on views on views on views on views on views. Andy, so we talk to me. What's going on here? It's just first team training. This is a uh, sort of warm down session from yesterday's week. Oh, goalkeepers are uh, a little session, Andy. What are, you, what are you looking at here? A bit of distribution, bit of a uh... yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit of crossing, handling practice, get out, and then uh, a little bit of pass back. And there we go. Touch back, first time clearance. There we go. Can you hit your man 25 yards out? Just a little clipped ball to your full backs. Not our usual changing rooms. Nice little setting though, you know what I mean? Which is a good sign, it's cold outside. And I've got Tegas Bury sat next to me. Cozy. Well, uh, Can't get any better than that. Well, we're good to get another win. I think it's going to be interesting to uh, maybe give some of the boys who haven't played too much yeah. in general, but also this tour a chance to, um, chance to shine. Try out a bit of a different formation. Nice to have a game without so much pressure on it. I mean, don't get me wrong, we all want to win the game, right? Um, but I think it'd be nice to see what a different formation could do. We've got an awful lot of players who have played forward attacking positions. And 4-4-2, four, four, you only get so many that you can get on the pitch. So to try something a bit different, get more of them on, see how they gel together. Score prediction? Always going to back us. Uh, I think there'll be goals. Maybe I'm going to say 4 1 hashtag. Right, so I've seen you actually uh, take a bit of time to take in the sights, and you're in fact starting today. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind? Uh, yeah, just looking forward to it. Um, really big game. I'm just going to go out and try and perform, um, do the best for the team, work really hard. Um, yeah, hopefully, score a tap in. I mean, I'm hoping today you can replicate what you provide to the Hashtag Academy in the next level league because some of the goals you've been scoring in next level have been unbelievable. Uh, so thanks. Um, it's just work rate um, and my teammates um, working alongside me. So if I can bring that to the first team then, yeah, should get a few goals. Good man, good man. Making a start today as well, aren't you? You looking forward to it? Good man. Philly. I'm looking forward to this man. Watch him zipping up and down the line. Be like, Roberto Carlos Jr. You watch. Right, so I'm currently here in the uh, physio room and we've had a bit of an incident on the pitch involving Mr. Baker. Instant, oh. instant diagnosis for the ultrasound of the torn ligament in between the fibula and the tibula. So yeah, basically one of the nice guys here, who I believe is possibly the head physio, um, we all brought Theo in, you could tell straight away that there was an issue. Um, basically put him straight into the ultrasound and managed to diagnose him just like that. Using one of these bad boys, had that on. I passed the football and just fell over. My <laughs> and went down like a sad sack of potatoes. <laughs> when I saw it and I heard you go down. Did it hurt? No, 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 but when I heard your reaction and how you were reacting, made me know straight away that not only was there something wrong but I had the same issue in Atlanta and I knew straight away that when you, when you, the second it happens you know you know something's up. As soon as I come back, as soon as I come back, run it, get fit, I'm really fit. So many injuries. Now, no, no, listen, now you're just going to have to use your amazing funny personality to compensate. I can't walk. Well guys, our final match of the La Liga Tour is finished and may I say, it might have been one of the most tense and one of the most dramatic games in hashtag history. There's a serious injury to Theo Baker with some serious challenges flying around and quite a few goals in the end as well. So I definitely recommend you check it out when it comes out on the hashtag channel. And uh, guys, I want to say a massive thank you to you as well for giving us this opportunity again. These past two years of hashtag have been amazing. We've got huge plans for the future as you know and it's all because of you. It's all because of your support 
that we're able to come to this unbelievable place. I mean, look at that mountain. You get to come and play football here with our mates. So thank you so much for that. Drop a like on the video if you're enjoying watching the hashtag journey and you're excited about where it will go next. Next time we see you, we may be back on English soil. Who knows, we might be in another country somewhere. Uh, I'm loving it. Hope you are too. Subscribe for more to the hashtag channel. Till next time, don't forget to hashtag it.